Hi students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about the story of lightning. Okay, you might have learned in your class seventh that during the during the development of during the development of a thunderstorm the air current move upward while the water droplets move downward so student this is the main phenomena to produce charge in clouds okay so this vigorous movement cause separation of charges means these are the clouds let's say and these are some other clouds so in upper clouds there will be positive charge accumulated due to this phenomena during the development of a thunderstorm okay the air current moves upwards while the droplets moves downwards droplet move downward and air current moves upward so with the help of this phenomena a positive charge accumulates on the clouds above okay and the negative charge on the accumulate near the lower edges these are the lower edges and these are upper edges okay when the magnitude of these now when the magnitude of these charges becomes very high becomes very high the air which is normally a bad conductor of electricity is no longer able to resist the flow of charge the air between these two clouds is now no longer able to resist the transfer of charge okay so the transfer of charge now takes place and when this charge these positive and negative charge collides means producing streaks of white light or bright light you can say bright light and sound produced okay so this process is called as electric discharge electric discharge and through which the lightning occurs okay so this bright light streets of bright light produced is called lightning okay now we will discuss about lightning safety and finding a safe place and do's and don'ts during a thunderstorm okay so let me first erase all this so lightning safety during lightning or during thunderstorm no open place is safe students okay so hearing thunder is an alert to rush to a safer place means whenever you heard the thunder noise so you must rush to a safer place second is after hearing the last thunder after hearing the last thunder wait for some time before coming out before coming out because the more thunders can come okay so these are the lightning safety 
means you should find a safe place so the safe place can be if you are traveling by car or bus you should stay inside the car with windows and doors if you are traveling if you are at home find a safe place under something okay under a roof or something and if you are driving if you are driving okay so you should stay in car with doors and windows closed closed or you can say shut okay and now we will discuss about do's and don'ts during thunderstorm first we will discuss about do's open vehicles like motorbikes tractors construction machinery open cars are not safe means open places are not safe any open place either you are at home or you are driving a open uh open like a bike open places are not safe that means okay so carry an umbrella don't think okay carry an umbrella is not safe so some think that if i carry umbrella lightning will not hit me carry an umbrella is not safe so these are don'ts for don'ts okay if in a forest take shelter under a tree so students these are don'ts and do's mix now this comes under do's okay so let me erase first all this so one more don't is stay away from conducting devices like electrical instruments conducting devices electrical instruments like example electrical instruments okay so these are the do's and don'ts of when a thunderstorm comes okay students now in next lecture we will discuss about another natural calamity calamity which is earthquake okay so now we will discuss about earthquake in next lecture and if you have still any doubt or any question with this lecture then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there thank you students enjoy the learning experience with scholars learning thank you